After Jehu died, his son became king, but unfortunately he wasn't a very good king. Well, there was that one time that he asked for God's help because he was desperate, and, and God helped him. But after he died, his son Jehoash became king. It was during his reign that Elisha got sick and was about to die. The king came in and knelt down by the prophet's bed and said, My father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel. Elisha said to him, Go get some bow, go get your bow and some arrows. So the king went and got them. He said, Now grab the bow. Now the king grabbed the bow and the prophet reached out and put his hand on top of the king's hand. He said, now go to the window and open it. So the king opened the window. Shoot an arrow out the window. So the king got his bow and shot an arrow out of the window. Oh, the prophet said, that was the arrow of God's victory. <laughs> you will have victory over the Syrian army. Now, take some arrows, a batch of arrows, and hit them on the ground. The king grabbed some arrows and hit the ground three times, and then stopped. The prophet yelled at him, Why did you stop after three times? You should have hit it five or six times, and then you would have had victory over Syria until you'd totally get rid of them. But now you will only have victory over them three times. Shortly after that, Elisha died. They buried him in a tomb. The following spring, some Israelites were having a funeral when they looked up and saw some men coming and realized it was Moabite raiders. They took the body and threw it into Elisha's tomb and ran away. As soon as the body touched Elisha's bones, the man came alive and stood up. 